Hi y'all, it's Alice at Vintage Gal 18. So I signed myself up for a swap at Your Paper Pantry. Well, I signed up for several swaps, but this is one of many. <laughs> and um, it's to create potion bottles. And um, it's Steffi Little Red Wagon Studio who is hosting this uh, swap. And I need to create three of them. And so um, I got these little bottles. I thought they were so cute from Etsy. It's a uh, when jammer creations and I think it's dot Etsy yeah Etsy.com and um, I'll leave the link below so you can check it out he has a whole bunch of I think it's a he Jasper Florida is where he's from art art is Wendy oh no it's a she it's because there's a picture of a guy on the card okay sorry I'm rambling <laughs> Um, so uh, I'm just seeing the business card while I'm talking to you um, but I also purchased the little labels that you see um, from I can't remember but I just did it this morning as I was creating these uh, I wanted to create my own uh, labels but I, I wanted some images on it I know there's some that you could do like love potion and just write it and kind of make it look like it's a burnt out label but I I wanted to purchase some because um, I have other projects that I'll probably be using them anyways and I wanted to create something for my daughter too because I know as soon as she sees these she's gonna want some so I'm gonna have to do something for her as well and my son um, so what I'm creating here is an easy cast which is a clear casting epoxy and um, all it is is a two-part you measure it for both to measure exact the same then you put um, the colored one which is usually like a yellow color into the clear one and then you just mix it and then you have to just let it sit for maybe a couple of minutes just so the bubbles can reduce because you do um you do create a lot of bubbles and you don't want bubbles well in this case it doesn't really matter um if there's bubbles or not because it is a potion bottle but for anything else you know you kind of want to reduce the bubbles so you just let it set for a little bit but i added glitter to all three of them I added like um, a dark blue to the one that says um, I think it's a cat what is it? a cat his his or something like that on the one with the cat and then the one with the 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 green I add a green glitter to the poison one and then I add a is it a a purplish it's like a purplish lavender a lot of little different purple color hues in the one that says which is brew and so what I liked about these bottles is that they came I didn't choose a size I picked one that had like a variety of sizes um, because I really wasn't sure what I wanted to create so I wanted different sizes and see what I was gonna do and they come with a screw on top um, which is at like the eye pin I don't know what it's called eye pin or eyelid no not eye. it's like an eye pin and it has like the little twirly hook on the bottom I don't know how to explain it but I do show it um, but you just you know you put it on on the cork top and it's I like it it was easy it was I know it's gonna be secure because I'm actually twisting it onto the cork opposed to using like a jewelry eye pin that you put in I mean, if you do use an eye pin, I would think, um, since it is going to be a heavy bottle, depending on what you're going to put in it, you might want to add like an adhesive before you actually set it into the cork, I would think. But I just like this. This was super easy, and all you had to do was twist, twist it on top of the cork. Um, but yeah, um, I'll put some music here, and if you have any questions, uh, just feel free to ask me. It was a simple project. It did... It's a little bit time consuming, maybe I lasted, I don't know, I would say maybe a good 15-20 minutes because I had to stop, of course. I have the baby with me, so he's always asking me to come here. So this is easy, I'm thinking a good 10-15 minute project. It's not that difficult, it's super easy and super fun. So I hope whoever receives my uh, potion charms enjoy them and I'll be back with more videos guys. Thanks, bye.